Hi there, I thought I'd just do a video about these uh, More Miles Cheviot Pace trail running shoes because there's not much out there on the internet <coughs> about them. Um, so, right, they're really cheap, that's the first thing. I paid £30 for these at the National Running Show up in Birmingham, the NEC, in the UK. Um, I think you can get them online for around about that price, maybe 35. So they're, they're low cost. Um, that's probably the main reason I bought them. Anyway, what are they like? They're quite soft, uh, flexible, compared to a lot of other trail shoes. The main thing about them is the very large lugs they have on the bottom. As you can see, these are brand new. I'm going to be racing them this evening, so I will make a video tomorrow and tell you how that goes. Uh, I wear orthotics, these half ones, and I always put them in underneath the uh, <coughs> insole that comes with the trainers. Now, the unusual thing about these insoles is they actually are glued in. And most other makes you can just remove them so there's a big glue piece in there right in the where the heel is so that's going to come have to come out i've already done it on the left shoe um, so i'll just show you that right here we go i've got this one on the left foot here those aren't running socks before anybody makes a mention of that. Just normal shock, socks for test. Let's try for putting them on. Uh, yeah, I had to rip out the inner sole. It was glued here. You can see there's a bit of the foam that's ripped off, but hmm, a little bit of the yellow is showing through there. So that's not good. It then left a big blob of glue in there and I had to use a hair dryer to heat it up and then to pull that out. That's come off okay and now it's flat there. That was my main concern because I needed I didn't want this sitting up on a blob. <coughs> but yeah, maybe I'll have to change. But these here, man, I've got loads of these. Uh right, yeah, so these went in, fitted okay. And then this fitted back in okay on top, no problem. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying before, the, so the shoe feels very soft and flexible. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just uh, that, you know, some shoes aren't. Um, it seems good, the protection around here, around the toe, seems good. They're quite light. According to the website, they're 276 grams. Um, what else stands out there? Four mil drop, according to the website, and you can feel that. I usually wear eight mils, so this is um, a bit of a change for me. Um, although with the orthotics there, that would raise it up for me. So I think that's still okay, and I think for trail shoes, I don't think it's, uh, it's such a uh, big concern because the, the surface is so uneven anyhow. Um, now, what does concern me is the the large lugs. I can really actually feel them, especially on the toe part. I can feel the lugs pushing up through. So I do have concerns about that and whether there's enough, is there enough protection here in the bottom to protect from stones. I had a pair of more miles quite a few years ago, maybe five, six years ago, very cheap for 20 pounds. They were road shoes, um, not trail, but I had to stop wearing them because I stood on a rock one day and it went, pushed right up through and it hurt quite a lot. So, hmm. anyhow, we'll find out tonight after the race whether that's a problem. So I've been looking for a replacement for my Adidas Canadia TR8s. 
Adidas have stopped making those and I really liked those because they had a very large shoe box. They were very soft and flexible and they were, I find them excellent for long distance, ultra marathon, trail marathons. And I'm hoping these are going to be the same um, or will be comfortable like they were. Um, although the box looks kind of narrow on my foot, it doesn't feel narrow. Uh, they feel like there's plenty of space. Um, these are size 12.5 UK and my feet are 11 and a half so for I bought them larger on purpose uh, you know your feet expand a lot on these uh, long distance trails ultra marathons um, yeah and they feel good <clears throat> so yeah there you go We'll uh, find out what they're like tonight, and we'll let you know. Okay, time for the post-race review of the More Mile Cheviot Pace. So, last night I did a trail half marathon. Uh, it was wet, very stony, very muddy, very hilly, very tricky underfoot, slippy, puddles, river, crossings. Uh, very technical footing wise uh, and I did it at a, a good old pace uh, and I give so I give these a really good workout so how were they the grip was exceptional absolutely probably the best grip I've ever experienced in a race I never slipped once with these nice big lugs they didn't get clogged up with mud I felt it was just so sure-footed. It was fantastic grip. I would say for the first 10 kilometers, they felt so amazing. And I was thinking to myself, I've found these shoes for my longer races. These are gonna be the one. But we'll get on to the, a bit later, what happened later in the video. So, yeah, um, they kept out the water really well, even going through puddles and some shallow rivers. Uh, I didn't get any significant water ingress, um, so it's actually quite waterproof around here. I didn't go anything above that it could pour in the sides. So I didn't go in any water that deep. And if I did, it was very quickly out of it before anything could really get in. Um, Laces, fine, no problems there. Very, very comfortable. Nice and light. I like a flexible shoe. These are, there's there's very little high-tech stuff in these. You know, there's none of this torsion control stuff or anything. Just nice, light shoes and flexible. And I find that very comfortable kind of shoe to run in. Um... Very easy to turn, making sharp turns, going up in the grass. Felt very sure-footed. Some of the, the route was very, very on level. So it did really well. Now, I was afraid about whether there was going to be enough protection for anything pushing up through. And... It went pretty well the first 10 kilometers, but later in the race, say definitely from sort of 18 kilometers onwards, I was starting to feel these big lugs in the bottom of my forefoot. That's what it felt like. Um, there was one point where I felt sort of a stone maybe pushing Maybe it might have, you know, come in one of these areas of stone. Uh, most of the stones on the course were sort of, were mostly sort of rounded off. There wasn't very many kind of sharp stones. But nevertheless, at one point, I think I felt it wasn't a significant problem, though. I just sort of felt it. And it didn't really, it didn't cause a problem. However, later in the race, towards the end, it started, the shoe did start to get uncomfortable in this area. And I feel that it was the lugs. Um, a lot of the course was on hard packed 
gravel stone type of surface where it was on a softer surface like sort of mud or grass this was brilliant and there's no issues but the constant significant impacting on the harder surfaces and the first sort of mile in and out of the at the beginning and the end of the race was on tarmac and it felt uncomfortable to be honest not extremely uncomfortable but concerning that on a half marathon distant race that it would start to feel comfortable so in my mind i'm thinking well what's it going to be like on a marathon or further on an ultra race it could become a significant problem so jury's still out in that department maybe the really they probably would be a really good shoe if it was just all a soft surface like grass or mud. It would be a fantastic shoe. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. Uh, More Mile do, does another, they have another trail shoe called the, the Cheviot 4. So, and it hasn't got these extreme lugs. It's got more smaller lugs closer together. So I'm thinking maybe um, I should try those. So perhaps I'll, that will perhaps will be my next review. Uh, but overall, you know, really good shoe. So I hope this review has been helpful for you.